Let's mod an original Xbox. We're going to use the Rocky 5 soft modding tools with the in-game exploit. You're going to need an original Xbox to USB adapter and a small capacity USB flash drive. First, turn on your original Xbox, go to the main menu, and press memory. And we'll take the adapter with the flash drive and we'll plug it into the original Xbox. You'll get a pop-up here that says the flash drive has been erased. Then we'll plug the flash drive into the computer. It's going to ask you to format it. Press cancel. Then in the video description, you're going to see a link to the Fat Explorer beta. We're going to scroll down and we're going to download both the 64-bit version and we're going to install .NET Runtime. We're going to end up with these two files. First, we're going to install the .NET Runtime. As for the Fat Explorer folder here, we're going to open it up and drag and drop the folder out of it. Now we're going to open up the Fat Explorer folder and we're going to scroll down and open up the Fat Explorer.exe. And if we go over to the Devices tab, we're going to see the flash drive we have plugged in. We're going to left click on the flash drive and press load device. And we'll mount data partition X. If it asks you to update, go ahead and update and restart the system. And when we press mount data partition on X, we're going to get this pop up here. We have the option to buy a license key or we can start a trial. And then this explorer window is going to pop up. This is our flash drive. You're also going to find a link in the video description to the soft modding tools. We're going to go ahead and download them. Now we're going to open up the Xbox soft modding zip that we downloaded earlier. We're going to go into soft mod package and we're going to see this in game.zip. And inside of the in game.zip, we're going to take all these files here and and we're going to put them on the flash drive. Then we'll unplug the flash drive, and we'll plug it back into the Xbox. Then we're going to go over to the memory unit, select it, and it's going to start loading into the exploit. Then we're going to press A. And now we're going to press A when it tells us to. Now it's going to back up the EEPROM. And now we're modded. 